Hi and welcome to another tutorial from Blender Insight and a new pattern. So this time I was thinking about doing this uh, tactile pavement or paving texture that we have here in front of me and I will do the pattern so I will not add all the smudge and so on that we can take another time. Right now it's just the pattern that we are interested in. So what do we have? Well we have tiles and inside the tiles we have circles and uh, it's like five times five circles in every tile and it's a, just a little bit uh, smooth corner here and a little bit flat on the top of the circles so let's try to copy that one should be rather simple I hope so shift a input texture cornet and then we have the UV and if I take that to the base color and is in rendered view you can see that this is the center point or the zero point and I would like that to move here since I will build a tile and the tile should be symmetrical so in the end all the edges will have a value of zero and the center will have a value of one so to make that happen first of all we need to have a scale so we can build many tiles so I add a scale and I can put that to 5 and then we need a fraction to separate it into different parts and now we have 5 times 5 tiles and now we come to the movement of the uh, zero point to the center and that is a subtract and a multiply so shift d and then a subtract with 0 0.5 and when i do that i move the point here for zero and now that is negative five in the corner and it's positive five up in the other corner so to make it negative one two positive one i do a multiply by two so then we have that in now I would like everything to be positive, so I add an absolute and then we get this and now I can split the X and Y or U and V to uh, separate channels by using a separate XYZ. So I drag this and write separate and then I got this XYZ and I can add like a smooth max here. Um, if I do that, get this to the base color we get this so we are close now and the only thing I need more is to reverse it so we get this to be bright and then we uh, just add a subtract so shift a converter math put in a subtract but we change this to the bottom and we put one in the top here and now we have these rounded corners but it could be too much so we can take it down just a slide so like this would be fine and then we can see that we have some uh, gap between here and here is not so much of a gap that we can fix by just uh, take this a bit smaller so something like that or even smaller something like this we can change it later on and now you can see it's mostly like pyramids and I want them to be flat and that we do by adding a map range so we will add a map range between here shift a converter and then we select the map range and I have shown this before so the only thing you need to do now is take that from max down a bit and when you do it you can see it gets more and more flat so we can have it like this we can even go smaller I think so something like that and now you see it's very similar to what we have here now we are lacking those small circles so we need to add them and there are like as I said five times five in every tile so if we say that this part makes the tile then we should add another scale and fraction after that to make it follow the first tile so to say so it will be scaled down here and it should be five circles so I put 5 here, we should also use the fraction and we should also have the circle in the center for each of the mini tiles that we have here. So that means that we can take the subtract and multiply 
can duplicate shift D put it in here but after that we can just use length to create a circle and if I put that in to the base color you can now see the circles here now it's a uh, black in the center I would like it to be white in the center because that should go up and not down so we change that with a subtract I can just take this one shift D put it in here and then we have it so there we have everything and we can play with it and do whatever we want so we get the right uh, distance between everything but we also need to flatten it a bit and then we use this map range and you can see now it's very flat but we don't need that amount we can just go up a bit so something like this could be 200 perhaps or 0.2 will look fine and then we can also do like this we we'll change these to smooth so smoother step both of them to make it even like smooth and sharper at the same time so here we have this and we should have more distance between so something like this and now we can just add those two paths together so shift a converter math and we put in an add and then we have this part uh, in the bottom and then it grows up since this is gray and this is white so then we get the top here now uh, we have added this and that go to max one uh, with this which also go to uh, one so one plus one that's two so we can fix that by adding another map range that goes from 0 to 2 but 0 to 1 here and then we get the range of 0 to 1 all the way so now we have everything very nicely presented here so now it's just to add some color on it so we can add a color ramp here between so shift a or shift just drag as i did whatever you want then all ramp and we put that in here and we change this uh, black to some brownish so drag it up change it like this perhaps some darker then we need some yellow so we can put this to some yellow with yeah something like this and then some yellow on that one as well could be almost the same perhaps a little bit darker but not much so something like that and to see them we add a bump map then everything will be clear so shift a vector and a bump map and we can take the map range here to the height and this to the normal and bam now we have it we take down the strength a bit and the distance a bit to get a bit closer and it could be that the R's are a little bit uh, harder than this so we can play with the from max but should not be too much of a change something like this perhaps and as I said you can play with these values as you want to by yourself so you get it exactly as you want but something like this I think is the same as we have here then you can add an additional color if you want to on these uh, circles so we can add a color mix here shift a converter uh, oh sorry color and a mix color put that in here and we use the subtract from the circle so this one can we use as a factor and then you can see we get some smudge in the top here so we can add something if we want to so something like this so then you automatically get the smudge in and if you want another additional smudge outside this you can even do that so you can just copy this one and we can do an, an uh, let's see overlay and we can take the subtract but we can increase the value a bit so we can add into this and take that to the factor here and then you can see we get a lot more so we have changed this to some other color so 
something like that. You can also just use Darken or something if you think that is easier to work with. So we have that. So now we have like two layers. First this one in the center, so it's a bit darker in the center and then some extra smudge on the outside. But as I said, I will not do all the smudge here because that's a lot of work to, to make everything look really good here. So I just add the base so you have something to work on and then you have to add some noise and everything by yourself later on or perhaps I will do it in another session. But now we have at least the base in and hopefully you learn something today as well. And I just do as usual, say bye for now and see you later.